Hello, I am a third year osteopathic medical student starting rotations with you today. Hello third year osteopathic student, I am super smart, MD, I graduated from Harvard Medical School, I did my residency at Mass General, I did three fellowships, one at Columbia, one at Johns Hopkins and the third at Duke. Wow, you were really smart, I hope to be as smart as you someday. Yes, I am smart. So tell me third year osteopathic student. How would you approach the patient who presented to the ED with acute chest pain? Well, I would start by doing a seated flexion test. A what? A seated flexion test. Why would you do a seated flexion test? Because I think a standing flexion test would be inappropriate in this situation. No, I mean what is a seated flexion test? What will that tell you? It will help me diagnose the type of somatic dysfunction the patient has. The patient has chest pain. Do you think a seated flexion test is appropriate? Yes, I do. That is what we were taught in our OMT class. Hmm. So third year osteopathic medical student, do you think an EKG might be appropriate? Yes, an EKG could be done, but not before I do the SIS compression test. Why are you doing a compression test? This patient has chest pain. I want to know if there is a pelvic torsion. For chest pain? Yes, it can be causing viscero somatic pain, their pelvis might be causing referred pain to the chest and I think some good OMT will get rid of the chest pain. Would you do any blood tests on this patient? Yes, but at first I would do some counter strain on the patient's left ear. Counter what? Their sympathetics may be in overdrive. If I can shut down the activation of sympathetics in their ear, I am sure the chest pain will go away. Do you think this patient might be having a heart attack? No. I do not think so. We never learned about heart attacks in our OMT class. What did you learn in your OMT class? We learned you can cure bird flu if you touch someone's feet. How can you cure a respiratory infection with touching someone's feet? I do not know. I just remember what our OMT professors told us. Was this in a textbook? Was this in a medical journal that they got this information from? No, it was just a story that was passed down through the generations of osteopathic students, as it was told to me, so I will tell it to future osteopathic medical students. Tell me third year osteopathic medical student, while you are busy touching feet and doing counter punch to the ear, do you realize that this patient's heart muscle is dying? That is okay, because I can then do some rib raising that will cure the somatic dysfunction and the heart muscle will come back to life. Tell me third year osteopathic medical student, what type of doctor do you want to be? I want to be a cardiothoracic surgeon.